have told this tale many times, to many people. Yet still you all harass me to tell it once more. You say you can't grasp how it could all be real. That can't possibly be true, you say. I tell you it is, yet you question me for the details. I'm tired of the questions. I'm tired of the blame, and I'm tired of the accusations. The questions don't seem to end, so I've decided I will tell the story one last time, and I will never answer another question about it ever again. Here goes. I hope you're paying attention. I could see the lights to the east beyond the horizon. They would call to me. They would say, Buzz, Buzz, come to us. It's not like I was completely unaware humans existed. The animals had warned me many times of them and their evil ways. Although I knew about humans, I had never met any. People always ask me how I could have lived for nine years. During the day, as I slept, the giant metal beasts roamed the lands. I both feared and worshipped the great beasts, for they had crushed and killed many of my friends and family, but they also brought to our land all that we needed for survival. Food, clothes, and the treasures that were my life's work. I did not believe the beasts were aware of my existence, and I was fearful of what might happen if one day I was discovered. When I heard the rumbling sounds and felt the earth shake, I knew the beasts were above me, leaving me my next day's collection of treasures. It helped me sleep peacefully, knowing my homeland was being refilled with all the goods I needed to sustain life. Inside the deepest layers of garbage was my sanctuary. Home sweet home. I slept there in the day, safe from the giant monsters that roamed the lands. I was safe, and I was happy. Little did I know that I was about to meet someone who would change my life forever.